people have a tornado in January. What can you tell us about this one? They're, they're pretty unusual. Uh, it was a weak one, but a tornado in the Austin metro area today. I guess we shouldn't be surprised with 80-degree uh, weather. It's like spring out there. There it was. You're looking in Williamson County right there, the little town of Wahlberg right in the middle of your screen, and that's what the radar looked like as that storm moved through. I say storm. It wasn't even really a thunderstorm. We're going to talk about how that tornado developed a little bit later on, but we want to give you some up-close perspective of that storm. KXAN's Alicia Enns is live right now in Wahlberg with a closer look at the damage it left behind. Hey there, Jimmy. And you know, talk about this not really being a surprise because of the weather. Well, it is Friday the 13th, so talk about an eerie way uh, to go through this day. Now, there are some homes in this area that had minor damage to their roof. This, however, took the blunt of the hit. This is a piece of metal. Look how mangled it is. This is from CPI Products. This is a company um, in a business out here in Wahlberg. This metal is just completely mangled. It was ripped off a section of their roof, and this is what is left. But that's not it. If you look out into this field out here, you see all the yellow? That is actually insulation from the roof as well. And let me tell you, it is stuck in the trees. It goes at least probably the length of three football fields out here. It goes all the way across this field just to give you some idea of how widespread uh, this area was hit by those strong, strong winds. Workers here say they were just going about their business. When the wind started picking up, it started to rain really heavy, but then it stopped again, and that's when they realized what happened. Leaves and what we thought were birds, it was odd, swirling, and realized that it was a tornado. It got much darker at that point, and then all of a sudden just the insulation sort of exploded into the field. and. We got out, got everybody into the office, and, and realized that a big section of the roof had been ripped off. All right, now you see the people up there working on the roof, preparing it. They're hoping to get that done today. Luckily, everyone is okay. I think Jim mentioned that as well. Everyone is safe. They said, though, it lasted in all 10 to 15 seconds. Doesn't seem like a long time, but that's the amount of damage it can cause in just that short amount of time. And Jim, they're talking about cleaning up this roof just in time for the weekend. They don't want any rain uh, soaking through into the business, and I don't blame them. I'll send it back to you. Uh, yeah, thank you, Alicia, for that report. I think they'll be able to clean up this evening. Not much rain forecast this evening. And no more tornadoes up there, although we do have a threat of some severe weather coming this weekend. We'll talk more about that in a minute. This is what the radar looked like today, and I mentioned to you this was an unusual tornado. Uh, this tornado did not come out of a supercell thunderstorm. In fact, it did not even come out of a thunderstorm. This was only a rain shower. There was no lightning. But what we saw is what we call more typically a, a land spout type development, and that is a little bit of a circulation develops out of the rain shower. There was a frontal boundary in this area and that circulation attached to the bottom of the cloud base. Therefore, you do have an official tornado, but they're never really amounting to very much when they're that small. Although I didn't want to be in that area where that tornado was today.